Good morning, afternoon, evening, as case may be. And you're a part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zon Archer, and it is Sunday morning, probably about 8 30, 9 o'clock, just sitting out and enjoying the sun. Ohio's finally got some decent weather 70 degrees, uh, 80 degrees we've hit, and uh, rainy at times, but uh, nice and warm. So I'm sitting out here enjoying my morning. And, uh, and thinking about YouTube and, and what's going on with YouTube. I, you know, I've been away for quite a while and, and I'm still watching videos, but I, I haven't been as involved with making videos and that's going to change. Um, but uh, in the process of watching videos and watching how things are changing, you know, uh, I, I've seen a, uh, a documentary about YouTube. By Dan Doby. I, I purchased it and watched it. It's a great documentary. It's called Please Subscribe. And uh, I'll put a, a link down in the description so that you can go and find it and buy it. Um, very inexpensive. You know, much less than you would at a theater. Uh, it was at theaters though, which was impressive. Um, kind of a homegrown YouTube documentary by YouTubers. And then uh, Shay Carl is, you know, raised something like two million dollars <laughs> on some unbelievable amount um, in order to do his documentary with Apprentice A. And I've been watching that. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It seems too Hollywood for me. It doesn't seem like, like new media doing it, although they are. It, it really seems like, like the end result is supposed to be for uh, old media. And, you know, one of the things that I see here at YouTube is that the type of shows that we stop watching on cable television and stop watching uh, as a rule. I mean, I don't know how many of you watch television on a regular basis. I've, I've always got a television on, but I don't pay much attention to it. Um, but the kind of stuff that we avoided or we just stopped watching is now coming up on YouTube and being created as new media. You know, it's on demand, yes. But, uh, I, I, you know, it seems to me that, that television should be trying to be online video, online audio, online radio, uh, instead of the other way around. You know, uh, you still see a lot of people on YouTube that are chasing the Hollywood dream. And, and, and if, for me, that just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I would never want to be or do that. Um, produce a web show? Absolutely. Produce something that you guys can come and, and see on a regular basis? Absolutely. Um, but, uh, but not television. Uh, and, and it seems to me that YouTube is becoming more television. There's over a hundred uh, partner networks and, and I don't even know if a guy like me uh, can, can make go of online video without the support of, of a you know, network, and, and what does that, I mean, I guess there's different levels of doing video, right? There's, there's vloggers, uh, who just vlog parts of their day for their friends that they've met online, and some people follow them. There are people who, who've done a little bit more with it in the way of a hobby thing. There's some that are doing it as a part-time job, myself included. Um, and then there's, there's those that are doing content specifically creating shows for YouTube and and YouTube is now supporting those people uh, more than they are the average vlogger and then there's uh, those people that are chasing Hollywood and chasing television and being on commercials and stuff one of the reasons I'm doing this vlog however is because tonight this is Sunday I think it's the 18th May 18th um, kicks off uh, comedy week and uh, I've been seeing ads on television for Comedy Week with uh, the likes of Daily Grace and uh, uh, the Blog Brothers and Kasem G uh, right along beside you know Gilbert Gottfried and and, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and old media people that you would probably know better more bigger household names and they're all going to going to kind of collaborate on an online show for comedy week and that kicks off tonight at uh i think it's going to be eight o'clock my time i'll put a link in the description or i'll put an annotation up 
so that you can take a look just click on it and it'll tell you how long until the show begins tonight if you want to watch it I don't know if it's going to be uh, recorded so you can come back and watch it later and have it on demand or not but uh, I'm going to be watching it's about a, I think it's about a two hour show tonight and uh, I'm going to watch the whole thing here at YouTube and hopefully you will too so tell me what do you think is the future of YouTube uh, is it just becoming an online cable network is it uh, uh, do vloggers still have a place at YouTube anymore? Um, I guess we all carve out our little niches, don't we? You know, when, when a person at YouTube today talks about uh, the YouTube community, they're not talking about the YouTube community. They're talking about the community of people who subscribe and watch them on a regular basis. And that didn't used to be the case back in 2006, 2007. The community that made YouTube where guys holding up cameras like this and vlogging. So where, where do you think it's going? Uh, what do you think the future of YouTube, online media, online radio, I've got the Zen Live radio show, where do you think that that's going to go? I'd be interested in knowing. And how do you use YouTube? Do you just come to find entertainment or are you a participant in this conversation that is worldwide? I'd like to know. So leave me a comment, leave me a video response. Uh, as always, love, like, love, subscribe, whatever, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Until then, you be well. This is Zen.